Hello. We are on a Tuesday. Gonna check my stream here, make sure we're going. It's a beautiful day outside, pretty hot. I actually uh, just jumped in the pool. Uh, gonna check this server. Hey, we are. And I think I figured out how to add a little bit of music to it. So let's see, I'm gonna turn it up. I want it to be too loud. So today. Today I'm gonna draw and maybe if I have time, paint. Sounds good. Sorry. Okay. Today we're gonna do a palm tree. Um, first, I'm gonna draw it. If if there's time, I'll paint a, on this uh, little white box that I here. Just um, I think at a thrift store months ago, I got uh, a stack of these deep wood boxes that all fit together. So there was like big, big, smaller, 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 and uh keep using uh, using them to paint on so I have a bunch of different paintings around the house that are uh, pairs of eyes. anyways I just paint the top white oh, it has kind of a scratch in it that's okay I think that might actually go well with the theme here it, it might be the same texture as my palm tree so, uh, oh, I wanted to show you all something real quick. Um, the finished piece I did last week, I didn't live stream, but I did an oil painting outside and kind of did a step by step. Here it is, uh, finished of the front yard. I, I didn't. I was gonna do a part two, but I just kind of finished it without taking. Did uh, duck paint. I'm working on one. Just black and white, and then I'm gonna let it dry and add color. Update. I thought about today. I thought about trying to paint water, but I thought that'd be a little tea for now. So, thank me. A Palm tree. Dead. I don't have my glasses on. Broke them. Really? This uh, music you hear in the background. Hope it doesn't. I'll, maybe I'll change the song a little bit, but it's just looping a couple minutes song I made um, the other day just for fun. Just a beat for a friend. That's what that is. All right. So to sketch this, I chose a square. Uh, well, number one, I had a square box, but I chose to make this the square of the palm tree. This is. I drove by this tree the other day, and I said, "Ginger, I gotta turn around and take a picture of this tree." So I turned around in my car, then pulled over, and then took a picture of this tree in somebody's yard, just because I. Um, I liked how the light was hitting it. I liked the colors of it. I thought, ooh, this would be fun to paint. <laughs> so, uh, and here we are. I was gonna, sometimes with pictures, what I'll do, I'll show you real quick, um, i make this bigger, is before I start painting from a picture, maybe I want to edit it. Maybe I want to make it brighter or darker. So that's I, I like to play with it a little bit, just to see if maybe, um, maybe it looks better way or the other. So you can see I can go really dark with the dark, so I'm really bright. I actually kind of like this bright brightness of it. I'm going to brighten up the picture. I just, it's so hot out, I kind of want to make a picture that looks like it's 
toasty. It doesn't have to look real because I'm not gonna, I'm just using this picture as a reference. Oh. Yeah, I can make it colorful. Boom. I don't want it that color. Uh, oh, does this, let's not, I'm changing very subtle things about it. Of my life, something like that. Maybe a little bit more neon looking. Right. Is that? Let me. Yeah. <clears throat> the first step would be to draw this onto my box, or I whip out the paint. Um. So, I use this kind of scratch that's in my thing as uh, my measurement for trunk. I'm gonna draw another line here. The other side of the trunk, so you can draw two pencil. Whatever you choose to draw with. As with all my classes, I think you could apply the knowledge you learn by watching me, you could apply it to paint. Brands drawing. I've been watching um, real time oil paint videos that are hours long just to watch the guy talk paint. I learned so much just from watching somebody do it. So I figured inform you that way. So here's the bottom of this. Now I'm going to look at the, uh, the shape of the tree of the fronds. Palm fronds. Um, I've got these bright yellow ones. Uh, the bright yellow ones, the dark blue green ones on top, and then the kind of um, muted orange ones on the left, and then there's some like bright orange, red stuff poking through the yellow too. I see. I want to kind of keep those different areas in mind. I'm going to start with the yellow. I want to allow enough space on top, actually. I think because this trunk is higher up, maybe I could adjust. Here. Might be more like. No. I won't have as much sky. Hoping for. By using this trunk. Because if I measure trunk compared to the leafy part, hmm, I get maybe one and a half trunks was a leafy part. So one and a half of these. One, here's half. That's probably the top of my. Go ahead and. Ron comes down. And it looks like half, half of this is going to be that dark. One and half of it's light. Oh. No leaf. Palm frond. Alright, and now how wide is it going to be? I have how tall. There's uh, another bush in front of it. Spiky. Alright, how wide is it? Looks like the trunk. How tall it is if I turn sideways. About one and a quarter wide. So take this. Turn it this way. One quarter. Oh, it's gonna hit like all the way to the edges. Good to fill up your canvas anyway. So I know how wide, how tall I want this guy to be. Now, let's see if I can kind of get a general outline. So starting at the top, um, I'm going to look at the sky. So I'm going to look at the blue shape that uh, from my reference. I'm on my desk. I don't want to. But right above 
my camera I have the picture we're looking at on the screen. If I can this. Um oh yes. I'm gonna look at the cloud shape. Cloud triangle here. Stick here triangle. Here. Uh, so from the bottom now and kind of try to outline a little bit tough when my edge doesn't line up. Look, I'm gonna try to move that. Yeah, there we go. So that's more similar to. Where it hits the edge of the screen is kind of where the edge of my box is. I can. I'm gonna see. Big blue, blue green there, and then this thing blue. Then there's kind of an undercarriage. <laughs> oh yeah, I've just kind of measured it out, got got the different areas. Bright yellow, green coming this way. Then darker green things. And then it kind of gets some green over here. And over here, there's dark green. Uh, orangey. Um, I'm not going to really worry about the texture of this. Uh, Chunk right now, but I know it's kind of a uh, triangle. But if you're just drawing with pencil, you could do little tiny triangles over. Let's see. Any try? On front. So I got that. Now I want to get a little bit of the background. That would be road. What? <clears throat> I changed my mind. I don't want to do this road. I don't want to do the background. I don't think that the uh, houses or those cars or anything really are inspiring me right now. So really, all I'm gonna try to do is the immediate few things around it. So we've got like a rose bush over here. Um, that plant's directly under it, that's in its shadow. Then actually maybe I'll draw the shadow. This. I think that's gonna be it. I I'll stop there. I might draw the little lawn that it's on. Because as artists, I don't have to draw everything. Learning that I can cut out things I don't want, move things around. Yeah. I'll just cut out that one little section of lawn that it's on. That might be fun. Kind of like it's floating in a lawn. Hi Robin. Always. Oh that's sweet. I'm glad that you forward to this. I do too. Nice to get some time to just sit down and talk about art. Um so I think that's a pretty good sketch so far. Um I think that's all I really need. Um 
Now I think I can go in the paint. So without further ado, let me pull out. I've got these um, acrylic paint, white, blue, yellow, and red. So I'll probably use a lot of blues with a little bit of yellow at the top white and then it'll kind of move um, to the middle of it um, middle this will be some bright yellows then here it's gonna be a brown made out of all the use blue and red and some yellow then bright yellow and then I'm gonna see about everything else I might just leave the background but if it gets messy, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it looks. So, I think I'm gonna do the sky first. So for sky, this acrylic medium stuff that's supposed to lengthen the drying time. The acrylic dries so fast. I'm gonna give myself some blue. Try to get this in view in a second. And I'm gonna give myself some white. And I'll get a little bit of yellow. Don't need red yet. Don't need much yellow. I got this new uh, brush clean. Got a, it's a jar, it's just a jar, but it's got like a spring in it. Rub my brush again. Excited to use it, I haven't used it with Felix yet. It's a gift. Two blue. Get this here away for you. All right, maybe I can get me there so then I can make this bigger. It's like a puzzle sometimes doing this work. <laughs> All right, so blue, this this blue, how I have it right now, you can see it's much darker than the blue I'm after. I'm gonna add some white into it. Oh, put a glare on you, I can see. Oh well, I can fix that. But this blue, it's uh, about this, the right lightness, but it's a little bit too airy. A little too blue. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow just to add some complexity to the color. And now I'm gonna go in with looking at my sketch, looking at the uh, Picture for texture. So when I get around the leaves, I'm gonna be kind of choppy with it because of the I don't want to make clean lines. Really. Filling most of the sky. Just filling up the sky. Not going into, uh, not going too far into lines I sketched, but I try to keep in mind that I drew the lines, picture, and I can draw them again, so I don't have to worry about going over them too much. Anyways, I believe in myself. I can do the same thing twice. <laughs> On here. Oh, 
So, since I'm not drawing the stuff behind, I can just have Sky go all the way down, I guess. Oh, I have to kind of make a decision. I think I'm going to try to do a fade from blue to white. I think that might be. So, white, blue under the tree. So in order to do a decent fade with acrylic, or else it'll dry up. And move, move, move. Well, because this is a first layer, I can get paint over this more times. If I okay, now more white. We get towards the bottom. Right up to the edge of the shadow line I drew. Now I just picked up like a blob of pure white. On there and then work my way up for it. Right down here. Move my way into light blue. This will develop a decent fade from white. Nice light blue at the top. Using nice little little strokes here. Back dark again. A little bit. Up there and richness. See, my paint is already dried pretty much up, getting the smooth. Good. All right, now I've got kind of a fade from. Uh, white blue up there oh yeah I can use my fancy brush cleaner ooh that feels good that feels like brush so thoroughly Questions and you're watching, type them in. Even if you're not watching it live, if you're watching this after the fact, I can see the comments and them. Um, need any? What kind? Of, if you want to know kind of paints, if you want to get into painting, but if you're happy with just watching or if you're happy with doing it with colored pencils or pastels or watercolor whatever you want that works too um urge to give it a shot now that i have this blue and i have this little bit of yellow still on my palette i don't want it to dry up and be useless if i went to brown right now i would lose all this blue so i'm going to look for anything else that c i can use this blue for. I think the number one thing would be the, maybe the darker greens towards the top of the tree. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make a darker green now. So I get this blue with the yellow. Ooh, now that's a, that's a really dark green going on. I need maybe a little bit of white in there. Okay. That's looking more manageable. 
something like that. Maybe a little more yellow in it. I'll give it a more foresty color. Yellow, a little yellow into a green. To me, seems to be more uh, foresty. And uh, blue into green looks more aquatic. Try out this here by just poking at um, my first part. I'm experimenting. Well, the way I like to do together. Possible? Then I can do it. Second to get the right brush stroke. Um, when when you paint, you start to learn more and more brush strokes that you can add to your kind of arsenal. Twist my brush here. Um, but yeah, you can kind of build up all the different marks that you. When I started, I maybe only did things squiggly lines or with straight lines, but now I know different angles that I can hold. And I think probably a lot of that is just trying paint new types of things because when I paint something new like a um, I have new challenges new little things to paint do I convincingly and uh, make it look I ask my time. All right, I got some of those, some of those greens in there, the uh, darker greens. I don't want to go too overboard. There's much to be done. Um, I can use the same kind of green, maybe for that bush that's here. Um, And for this, I think I see kind of kind of like that. The distance bushes you can you can be intimidated by them, or you can just kind of go for it. And usually, if you just go for it, bushes and plants look pretty good because. There's nothing sym symmetrical about them usually. It's, it, the randomness is what makes them beautiful plants. So let's see. I think I'm going to need a little bit of red to brown out this color now that I'm uh, getting down further in the plant here. So I've got my green, and I'm, now I'm going to add red to it. Ooh, that looks very purple. Which actually might be a nice color to start on the. So I'm gonna go ahead and do little marks. Now I know this is kind of a wet color for a trunk, a purple trunk, but shadows, in order to get some complexity and some contrast, have. A little bit of color in your shadows, so well, I'll let that dry and I'll paint on top of it. But good, good underlayer to. Have. All right, now I'm gonna try to tame that out a bit with that. the opposite of purple is. 
Hello. So the purple is yellow, so if I mix them together, get more of a gray color. I did add a lot more uh, red in there too. I've got a bright orange. I see a little bit of bright orange in there actually, so I'm gonna throw that in. That area. I'm gonna start coming to the bottom here. Um, I lighten it up a little bit. That color is in the fronds left side. Something like this. Or these spiky spikes. Same color. Or maybe the more red. Know much about holy the yellow it usually means kind of deadened um okay that's looking good i kind of want to even go more gray so the opposite of yellow is purple i'll add this purple back in i've got kind of a little bit out of frame here but i've got a grayer color uh, there we go a light gray that's going to be for some of this stringy stuff. How's where a uh, dry brush effects? Dry brushing, where you you don't have much, you don't have any water on your brush, and you don't have any. You don't have too much paint. If you have a lot of paint, it goes on really smooth. That's not what I'm looking. It to be kind of dry so it goes on rough and then each brush hair on my brush um, so it'll kind of look like those frondy parts on there okay what can i do I gotta work a little bit quick while it's drying so far so i'm going to um use this bright yellow Maybe get that the brightest areas. I'm gonna go in with pure yellow first. Just add a little bit too much. These instead of as individual fronds, I'm just going to try to see the shapes of each. Bring it this way just because I tried to do the little streaks. The brush was too wet. I had just been talking about dry brushing. Maybe I can even use this. Thing. I'll add a little bit of extra yellow. This mop. Okay. To the ground. <laughs> Looking nice and colorful. Okay, back to business. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of this orange into this yellow. Let's see, yellow with a little bit of red. Like orange. A little bit of green in there. Tame it down. I've got kind of a brown here. There's a brown green, which is a nice to do more fronds kind of a more neutral
Neutral green. Now the cool thing about this is I can probably do some layering as it dries, especially. Probably just keep laying different colors. So with that in mind, I'm I, I'm kind of keeping colors. Wait, I want I want this kind of explosion of color, which is what I saw when I walked by it. Hi, Rochelle. Well. Um, so now I'm going to go down to that bush in the middle, in the front <laughs> here, those little plant as well, um, then the rose bushes over this blank but I kind of like this Get little plants in there too do the third one oh so that third bush in the back lighter and yellower green yellowing out the green Extra. and there's a darker area of it of Aimed out green, so I'll nice bush. <laughs> I have three little bushes. Um, remember, if you're using acrylic paint because it dries so fast, to wash your brush, wash, wash, wash your brush pretty often. Or else it'll start to all stick. Um, I think we need to add more darks, and this time more of a darker gray. I had like a dark green before, so I want to try to make a gray. And you notice, notice how I don't really, don't really ever use black except for in very extreme circumstances. That's because black is a little overpowering, especially colors. Um, so, yeah, a little overpowering. Take that out. Oops, a little too dark. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna now make sure that I have that dry brush, and I do. There's not too much on my and I'm gonna try to get the darks in bottom. When I pull it, the end the end that it comes up how do I explain? When I do a brush stroke this direction, there'll be points going that direction. If I do a brush stroke this direction, it'll be flat on this side. I have to kind of watch out which way brush. I can't just like stumble around every way the same. I want the points to go far. Out up there. <laughs> I've got some charm to it. Not got much detail that makes it look real yet, but it looks fun. You can tell it's a palm tree. Sometimes I think of temperature. Color, so warm and cool instead of like what exactly what color it is just think warmer or should it be cooler? Um, which basically see it means is it should it be more like blue green 
Or should it be more? Red. And it looks like all the warm colors down this direction. Cool color up towards. Here. We even get some white. I think. Not putting on my brush, I want the kind of ah. Uh, might as well put in the shadow. So let's try to get a pretty much gray color. So right now I have this teal. Opposite of green is red, so I'm gonna add a little bit of red in there, and that gives me pretty convincing shadow, but a little bit too light. I gotta darken it down with some more. Purple, the yellow to make that grayer. I think that's a. There we go. That's a nice. Okay, with a little bit of blue tint to it. Nice if you have a color in one location. Have it elsewhere in the painting too. Look at painting. It just makes it look a little more. Right? That looks pretty good so far. I got 20 minutes left to. So Make this a convincing tree. I think now that the trunk is a little dry, it might be fun to add more of that texture. So that's pretty light color, um, and it's kind of a light, maybe orangey color. I'm gonna get paint because I don't want it to be wimpy. And orange, I got here, way too red. I could add a light green to that. Light green, I can down with. I like to look around my palette for the colors. That the same thing. Uh, uh, uh. It looks a little gray in that, so. That gray in. Yeah, that's looking good. Maybe a little bit more white. There we go. All right, now that I got this kind of, oops, you can't even see it. Like a light woody color. It's actually uh, very similar to the palm from. up but let a little bit of that purple through and now I'm gonna go um, lighter towards the bottom right and darker towards the top left. So start with the light getting a little Now that I have white on my brush, I might as well look where else I can get this. So I'm going to put some white at the top. Um, yeah, where the sun kind of glistens. Earlier. Layering. I'm 
adding more and more layers right on top. A nice thing to do with acrylic. I'm trying to do a piece with oil paint. It's gonna take months. Every layer, every color, I have to wait probably at least three days. They say the Mona Lisa one. Five days. Sometimes thicker layers will take weeks. To then, then, years, years on that. Add a little bush. Kind of. This part feels like like music or something. Where I'm just adding color, shifting around, especially when I'm talking, I can't. Yeah. But in intuitively, without thinking too much about you. So, you have to. I'm adding brighter yellow right now. Back over areas that had bright yellow. pretty good so far. It's fun. Um, I should be a little less convinced by this whole shade motif. might actually be in. What do you think? Continue on the tree and see if you guys have any input because, I don't know, I like it floating in space, but it kind of might be nice because I have it, if I had it lower down and more sky, it'd be nice. But I think since I've created from the bottom, it feels weird down. So my opinion is that I should put in a ground. Look, look how quickly when I mix uh, purple and red, it makes like almost super dark black. I'm gonna go for the dark areas of the uh, tree now. Oh, where they do? I'm looking at the pattern, and it looks like good. I'm just I've been these short diagonal, short diagonal things going on, especially. That a little bit of a boo boo, that's okay. That sponginess, I just nice. Maybe I'll try a bit too much on there and rub, rub it off. There's like a hairiness, looks a lot like the hairiness of palm tree. Accident. I'm gonna lighten up this gray slightly and get a little more. Now you can barely see that purple I added. Uh, added a bit ago. Oh, true. All right. Next thing okay yeah I am going to add road I have to think about the aim it goes like this and I don't really want to put the houses in I just want a road and maybe a road um so now I gotta think about where the horizon would be 
and kind of mark that. So if I'm looking straight, the horizon would be where, like, if there was an ocean, where we would see the top of the ocean meet the sky. But there's no ocean. Yes, I'm guessing probably right around here. See. I'm going to delineate that gray line. that and that looks pretty now so that means I'm on the right track so now that I have that gray I'm gonna lighten up the gray make this sidewalk color add in maintain that shape of the shadow on here and it looks like it starts off uh, Kind of cool over here but then we get some yellow hints into the gray so i'm gonna try to do that without overpowering it which i might have just done for a little bit yeah that's a little bit more right 10 minutes so i think with this last 10 minutes best thing to do would be to uh this sidewalk. Alright, so now I have a little bit yellower gray. Quite a bit yellower gray, that's okay. That. Fine. The blue into that. Blue. Blue, there it is. Blue into it for fine. these before it gets too dry. Run that blue into the... So I like to have multiple grays. Because gray can look a little flat if you're using like just black and white mix. Um, I like to do more of a cooler gray and a warmer gray and kind of go back and forth between them. Um, but I just kind of got a little bit too there. Easy to do. Oops, my camera just turned. Why the camera stopped there. I gotta, while it's figuring it out, I'm going to just keep painting. Somatic might have just died, but I only have a few minutes, so I'm just gonna do this and I will show you. Kind of adding a si that sidewalk, finishing the sidewalk up. Real quick here for the. Uh, I'm adding white into my mix and kind of making the top of the horizon line. Here. It's darker as it goes down. Going, 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 going as fast as I can without messing up my whole painting. Do with this. Be a little bit more yellow in that top left area. A little more ye uh, yellowy white. Good. 
good. And then I think the last step I'm gonna do is finish the, oops, oh no. Guy a little bit. Going to, without rushing too much, uh, finish the uh, lawn there. I'm mixing blue and, sorry, I don't know. I think my camera might've <laughs> ran out of battery. What's it do? I don't think it's set up I have. I not. I'm gonna paint in that grass by dry brushing, so I want to get most of the off my grass right off. Got a little bit bigger area than it was. Like a, now it's starting to look like maybe like a, uh, an island of, like Rochelle, you said it looked like an island. It looks to me like a little island of lawn in a huge concrete ocean. Kind of a fun. I'm getting a little bit careless over here. Slow down, it doesn't go that fast. On. <laughs> now um, I can choose what I want to do with the horizon if I wanted to just go straight as an edge or if I want to maybe put a sun on it or a mountain. Um, I think for now I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use a white line at the top. Clean up my because a quick easy thing I can do in it. I it'll look. So I'm gonna line across that I did here, and then I'm gonna blend it down. Blending it white. Okay, I've blow it. Uh, rid of all the gray, but so a little bit mindful. Oops. Ah. That. that play in the game I think I oops or too much I mean this is how I talk to myself almost every time Michael don't do that like a action movie or something in my head much more exciting than probably it is by Stan but okay I'm gonna call it at that. Here's a. Sorry, you did. Probably got maybe 10 more minutes of work to do on it that I'll do uh, later. So, yeah, take care.